Hello friends. The other day I did a video about how to add product links, what they call cards, into your video while people are watching it and at the end of the video. Today we're going to do something else. If you're an Amazon affiliate, that's great. You know that you can copy links to Amazon products into the description of your video or put links to them right into the video itself. But what if you're not an Amazon affiliate? Your YouTube channel is doing pretty well. Let's say you got monetized. You got to be monetized to do this one. Some people miss this one though. Let's show you. We're going to pick a video. All right, this Halloween video I did. We're going to pick that one. We're going to edit that one. Here's the video. Here's the description. We got a whole bunch of Amazon products tagged in there for my affiliate status. We also have, if you look down here, tag products. Now these are the ones you don't have to have any special affiliate status to use. All you have to do is be monetized on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. And we're going to go down where it says tag products. And it shows us these here. But we'll show you how to edit it. You can also do this on your phone app too. You don't need to use it just on a computer. This one's nice because you can use it while you're editing your video and uploading it on the phone app. Since this was a Halloween video, there we go on Halloween, it'll come up with a list of products. So you look at these, 12 foot inflatable Halloween witch. It tells you who's selling it, Home Depot, the current price, and what your commission rate is for anything that you buy in there. That one's 4%. The same thing, from Target is on sale for $49, so you can give your customers a better deal, plus you make a 10% commission on that one. You always want to watch the commission rate, because some of these don't have any commission at all. Target always has a real good commission, so does Lowe's and Wayfair. Walmart has a commission, but usually not very much, like this uh, large sugar skull here, $58, only 3% commission on that, which isn't some change. I mean, that's okay, but you look at, I think, the other ones, you're looking at Target, 10%, lows, 20%. But this is a good way to boost your earnings. I mean, you're going to put a video up that includes some sort of product. Even if you're just talking about a holiday or talking about a particular type of car or talking about cooking something. Type in what you're doing. So just watch these commission numbers down here because you don't want to overdo it promoting people's products You know, if you're not getting anything back for it. Unless it's something you really, really believe in and don't care about that. You just want to share it. And that's okay too. But if you're here to make some money, Look for some things that have a high commission, but a reasonable price. You don't want to direct your viewers to the highest paid commission if it's also the highest priced item that it's comparing in here. I mean, if I see something that has a 10% commission at $200 or a 3% commi commission and it's only $150, I'm going to say, hey, I want my viewers to have the better deal, so I'm going to promote the lower commission item. It's just... That seems like the fair thing to do for your viewers if you're recommending something. Show them the best deal and earn yourself a commission off the process. I think that would be the best way to build loyalty and support for your channel. But this works across all kinds of things. The only other thing you got to watch out for, some, of the, some products have a really low commission. I like to promote books on my History Channel videos. These are all Target books. Zero percent commission. Macy's, zero percent commission. Barnes & Noble is about the only one where you can get a commission off books. That's usually 6 or 7%. But the vast majority of the other sellers here have no commission at all on books. So if you're promoting books, you know, you're going to be pretty much doing it just for the sake of you want people to read this and see it. Unless you can find it at Barnes & Noble because they do give you a nice commission. And I like Barnes & Noble. I've been shopping there for probably 30 years or more. And it's one of my favorite places. There you go. It's pretty simple. Once you click on the item you want, you tag the product, and it automatically pops up over here in your list of tagged products that will appear in the video. There will be a thing that pops up right at the beginning of the video that says tag products, and people can click on that and find your products. Like I say, it works particularly well for clothing, uh, makeup, health and beauty, auto parts. That's the one I use it the most for is auto parts. Uh, also, history books for my history channel. Anything that you can review, you can add a tag to. I do a lot of like case tests of different flavor sodas. I'll go on here and I'll look for like a 7-Up Spirit Jersey. You type in that and a bunch of 7-Up products will pop up. And you can click that like a Walmart 7-Up t-shirt. You're getting 10.5% commission, which is a nice deal. And that's paid out to you along with your regular monthly YouTube money. 
that doesn't come from Amazon or any third party affiliate. That's paid to you directly through YouTube. So I hope you take this trick. Now, I tell you, this is the best time of year to get into this affiliate marketing because this is the prime shopping season. And I got to tell you, my monthly commissions off sales usually double or triple during the months of November, December, and January. So this is your chance to make some extra cash this holiday season. You won't see the cash probably till, you know, you, you don't see the cash till a month afterwards. You're not going to have extra spending money for this Christmas, but this is the time to actually earn the money. And earning money is just as important as having spending money. Don't give up a chance to get some money. Don't worry about the extra taxes you'll have to pay. It's always better to pay taxes on extra income than it is not to have that income. Don't fall into that trap. And like they say, don't leave money on the table. It's always better to take the money. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day for now. And I hope this helped. If you have any other questions about YouTube marketing, affiliates, making money online, you know, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. And no, I don't sell any courses. I don't charge any money. I just like to help people. And honestly, that's the truth. People who know me know that. I only recommend products I actually have used and believe in. Uh, sometimes the product might be not be something I've actually used, but it's from a brand name that I trust. I actually have a couple of marketing agreements with specific companies now that I always mention when I'm doing a video that features their products. Because that's what you have to do to be an ethical affiliate marketer. Have a great day, and bye for now.